Go. Get up there. Welcome back to Wiseman Company, fellas. Today we're gonna be taking a look at ports on pistols. I'm just trying to give you guys some feedback some insight as to what kind of port you might want, where they should be placed, do they work, etc. So we're going to take a look at the guns I have ported. Yes, they're all Glocks. Try to uh, put your bias aside right now and just concentrate on the ports. What are ports? Why would anyone want them? Well, ports help mitigate recoil or muzzle rise. The escaping gases that come up through the ports are an opposing force to the natural muzzle rise or recoil of the gun. They help the gun shoot flatter, for lack of a better term, and I actually don't even like that term that much. Are they a gimmick? No, they absolutely are an advantage if they are done properly. I've seen some ports that are not done properly, but if they're done properly, they are absolutely an advantage. They wouldn't have their own class and competitions, shooting matches, if they didn't provide some sort of mechanical advantage. If you think ports are stupid, I could care less. Move on with your life. Don't get them. I, I really don't care. Okay, first up, let's take a look at the port from Arc Division. This is the Arc Reactor slide. I have a full video on this combo right here already, but let's take a look at the barrel, the porting. This is what you would call like a chunk port, and it's just one big hole at the end of the barrel. It does work. I think there's better options than this out there if you're really concerned or you really want to mitigate recoil. But this one isn't bad. No loss in accuracy. This is done by a machine. Uh, some of these you'll see today are done by a laser, but this one is done by a machine. I think it's important if they're going to machine the barrel that it gets backboard because that's gonna eliminate any little burrs or snags that's gonna inhibit that bullet from leaving the barrel properly. That's where you see accuracy issues, I believe, is when they don't backboard it after they poured it. Uh, there's a lot of science and machining nerdery that goes into that. Uh, I'm sure someone can explain it better than what I just did, but this port, decent, no, no degradation in uh, accuracy. The arc reactor slide, chunk port at the end. I've seen this on a bunch of 2011s. You'll see them on 2011s out there. Uh, again, I think there's better options than this, but this one is not bad at all. All right, next up, let's take a look at the ports from Mac Defense. As you can see, it's three kind of slots. Sometimes people ask, does a longer barrel help when porting? I think it does. I think a longer barrel helps. It generates more gases behind the bullet, which allows more gases to escape up above and creates more pressure in the barrel, more velocity in the barrel, even if it's a little bit. I think longer barrels do help. It's not a necessity though. Most of my ports are on Glock 19s. So this one, Mac Defense, three slots here. I'm gonna roll in some footage of it done on a Archon, which I think Archons are great. This is my buddy Chris Moon's Archon and it shoots really nice. Uh, this setup right here from Mac Defense is great. You can see they take a little bit of material off the top, kind of flatten it out, and then put those slots in there. This right here mitigates recoil better than that chunk port we just saw from Arc Division. So again, I don't know what the science is behind the size of the ports and the layout, just some work much better than others. Yeah, granted, slide mass, recoil springs, things like that are taken into account, but all these guns have factory recoil springs, guide rods in them. There's, there's nothing changed. Now, some have heavier slides than others, but for the most poor part, I think, I think just certain size ports in certain locations make a, a big difference. So Mac Defense, go check these guys out. They do a good job, great work. Uh, I really like shooting this Glock 34. Okay, next up is a company called Tampa Gunworks. They're local to me, they're new. This is their six pack, so six ports, dead center of the barrel. This is a Glock 19 Gen 4, and this mitigates recoil really well. This is all done with a laser, no machining. So laser cut each port and the slide as well. So great job here. 
I've shot some of his other ported guns. They're equally as good. Really, really nice. He does have a K9, which is nine holes. I will tell you that Tampa Gunworks lead time is very short right now. They're a newer company. They're hungry, they're doing good work. Their lead time is short. It's around one to two weeks. Again, Tampa Gunworks, local to me, newer company, but they are uh, turning out some good stuff. Last but not least, Monsoon Tactical. Monsoon has a great name in the industry for their machine work, their ports. This is their Lucky 7. I have two of them because I like them that much. These shoot so good. I mean, so obviously I got two of them. Um, awesome work done by Monsoon. These are done with a machine, seven of them. Slides are done by different people, but the porting itself is done by Monsoon and that's, that's really what matters. This is my carry 19 that I, that I have on me every day. And this is my 45 slide that I use at open gym, at classes, just a little bigger gun. But both of these, again, if you like something, get two of them. That's the saying, right? I think that's the saying. If you like something, get two of them. Um, but Monsoon, they have a longer lead time than any of these, um, but it's worth it. And uh, you should definitely check them out if you've never heard of Vinny over at Monsoon Tactical. Just phenomenal work. Change the whole performance of the gun by putting these Lucky 7s in the barrel. Some of the misconceptions about ports, if you shoot them at night, you'll go blind. You get a lot of carbon and hot gas in your face if you shoot from retention. I used to be one of those guys in that camp. I thought, oh, ports are only gonna hurt you. That has been dispelled over and over and over again. Uh, there's, there's no issue shooting at night with ports. You might get a little hot gas in your face from shooting retention, but you'll live. Uh, again, I was in that camp. I've totally done a 180 on that. I am pro port. Another misconception is, oh, how much velocity do you lose? How much feet per second? Is there a lot of accuracy issues after you port? Again, if they're done properly, you shouldn't lose any accuracy from the original barrel. And if anything, you're only gonna lose around 50 FPS feet per second. Sometimes it's negligible on the loss of velocity. Uh, there's a lot of great videos out there on loss of FPS from ports. QVO Tactical did a great one. I recommend you go watch it, QVO Tactical. It's nothing you should be concerned about if the porting is done correctly. Finally, and I can't emphasize this enough, if you do not have a great foundation as far as fundamentals of shooting a handgun, ports aren't going to do anything for you, particularly grip. If your grip is trash, these are just gonna be a Band-Aid for your poor grip. Ports are a want, they are not a need. You do not need them to shoot a handgun well. There are plenty of people out there that shoot handguns extremely well without ports. Okay, can't emphasize it enough. Dry fire, range time, spending money on ammo for more range time, those should be the priorities here. Maybe a class or two, like I said, but these are a want, not a need but they're very cool to have. I enjoy them immensely, obviously. Okay, hopefully this gives you guys some variety here to give you an idea of what you might want. Keep in mind, this is just a small little sampling of different types of ports. You'll see ports with two rows of ports. You'll see ports that are closer to the chamber instead of further at the end, different shapes, different sizes. Again, there's a lot of different recipes out there, some good, some not so good. These right here that I show you today are great. They have been as advertised. I'd send them more work in a heartbeat. No complaints about these companies represented today. Now, that being said, porting, depending on what kind of slide you have, like the weight of it, what kind of recoil spring guide rod, what kind of internals you have, they're gonna give you different results. So it's not just like a rubber stamp, hey, I got ports and now my gun's gonna do this. Or hey, I got the same ports as my buddy, why does my buddies feel a lot smoother, a lot better? He might not have the exact same components as you do. If you guys wanna support us, go to wisemencompany.com. 
We appreciate all that support. We have a ton of great gear over there for you to choose from. Go check it out. My name is Ben. We'll see you on the next video.